Deshaun Watson is about to be traded, likely in the next week and the Miami Dolphins will not be one of those teams he lands on. They could have though. The Dolphins have been one of the teams that were linked to Watson the most. It was rumored and reported by some pretty big media members that a deal was pretty much in place and agreed upon. Brian Flores would have had his quarterback and the Tua Tungavailoa drama would have been over. Steven Ross stepped in and nixed the whole thing the night before the trade deadline. Now, that is in the past regardless of whether you like it or not. I have always been on the fence about Watson joining the Dolphins and I have jumped over and over the fence between Watson and Tungavailoa. Most of the time, I've stayed on the Tua side. Not because of Watson's legal issues or the complaints against him but because I'm not convinced that Watson is the great quarterback he is made out to be. I mean, if he is that good why have the Texans been as bad as they have been? Yes, the Texans had two very good 10-plus winning seasons with Watson but didn't go to the Super Bowl. They also had two four-win seasons with Watson. All of that doesn't matter anymore. Miami is out of the picture so regardless of what side I was on, I'm on the Tua side now. So should you. Watson to Miami isn't happening. Bet on it. Take it to the bank. Watson is gone. The price for Watson would have been expensive last year but it would be a lot cheaper than what the current teams are likely to pay. Miami had no competition last season for Watson. Miami was it, the only team. Now there are several. The Panthers and Saints were supposed to meet with Watson last night and now the Atlanta Falcons might be jumping into the fray. All this does is drive up the price for Watson, especially if he waives his no-trade clause for more than one team. Houston will make out in this when it is all said and done and some team is going to get a player that may not have criminal charges hanging over him but will still have a dark cloud hanging over the situation. For Dolphins fans who want and still want Watson, this is one of those arguments that will not go away until Watson is 1, traded, and 2 fails. Even then, I suspect this will be a debate that lasts as long as Culpepper over Drew Brees. New Miami Dolphins head coach Mike McDaniel was pretty clear in his message when he retained defensive coordinator Josh Boyer, as well as a few of his assistants, that he liked the team's defense and was hoping to maintain the status quo there. It's now playing out the same way as the new league year approaches. The latest move the team made in the lead-up to free agency came late Tuesday morning and it involved agreeing on a new one-year contract with linebacker Alandon Roberts, who became the fourth defensive player who the Dolphins secured before the start of free agency. Roberts joined fellow linebacker Duke Riley and defensive end Emmanuel Ogba, who each signed a new contract, and cornerback Nick Needham, whose return the Dolphins pretty much guaranteed when they gave him a second-round tender as a restricted free agent. By contrast, all of the pending unrestricted free agents with whom the Dolphins have come to terms have been offensive players, quarterback Teddy Bridgewater, running back Chase Edmonds, wide receiver Cedric Wilson Jr. and guard Connor Williams. This again isn't happening by accident. If you recall McDaniel's comments, the Dolphins' defense left a major impression on him when Miami defeated the 49ers, 43-17, in San Francisco during the 2020 season. The blueprint appears to be to improve the offense while at the very least maintaining the level of play on defense. It could be argued the Dolphins could have used an upgrade in inside linebacker, and they still might add a player in free agency or the draft, but they're also set up now to run it back with the same top three as last year with Roberts, Riley and Jerome Baker. Interestingly, this marks the third straight offseason where Roberts signs a one-year deal with the Dolphins, which is a testament in one way to the positive impact he's made on the team on and off the field. And remember the Dolphins signed him to a second contract last offseason despite the fact Robert still was recovering from a torn ACL he sustained in the Wild Week 16 victory at Las Vegas in December 2020. Without question, Roberts brings a physical element to the Dolphins' defense and his play against the run has been solid for his two seasons with the team. The Dolphins still have seven other pending free agents from their defense, John Jenkins, Brennan Scarlett, Justin Coleman, Jamal Perry, Jason McCourty, Vince Beagle, Sheldrick Redwine, and at this point we shouldn't be surprised if any, or even all of them, are brought back.